you guys, it's your girl Jasmine here, back with another video, and in today's video, I show you how to get this cute little everyday makeup look, but guess what? Guess what? All the products I use in this video are from the drug store. No cap. Like, listen, you can look fly on a budget too, ain't no problem. So, stay tuned in this video to see how I created this look off of drugstore makeup products. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the face. I'm gonna take LA Pro Conceal. You can get these anywhere, well, everywhere now. Um, and I feel like they changed the formula because I used to be like um, cool tan but that doesn't match me anymore. And I ran out of that, so I'm gonna have to mix. So I'm just gonna mix two colors. Mix a light color and a darker color. Okay, I mixed the two colors, kept the lighter color in the lighter parts of my face, the darker color in the darker parts, and then I'm just going to blend. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna put some of the lighter concealer on my eyelids. All right, and then I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, now that that's blended, I know I look a little pink, that's fine. For now, because we're not done. Then I have some air spun translucent powder. I know you can get it from like Walgreens and it's like $12. And then the LA Pro Conceal is like $3 maximum, depending on where you get it from. It could range from like $1 to $3. But I'm basically gonna set my whole face with the translucent powder. Um, a little bit more heavy in my T-zone areas. You know, like around the nose, um, under the eye, on the forehead. Don't forget that forehead. The only thing I really don't like about this is that it does have a little bit of flashback and pictures so you don't want to be too heavy-handed with it uh, chow you'll be looking ghostly and when you set with this it kind of like melts it all in place which I love it definitely evens out the texture and don't forget the eyelids. Try to get it right before it starts creasing. This is how it looks when it's set, and then this is how it looks without setting it. It just creases right up. It's so annoying. Now that I look like a big ball of pink, we're gonna take, dang, I don't know what it's called, but it's CoverGirl. It's a CoverGirl um, bronzer, and we're just gonna, Deep in. We're gonna like bronze slash contour with this. And I heard CoverGirl uh, uh, just went um, animal free or cruelty free. Um, what is it called? They don't test on animals anymore. So thumbs up for the cruelty free products. 
<laughs> then we're going to take dang y'all none of the stuff like all of these products all the names have been scratched off so i don't even know like the the shades or the colors i'm gonna try to link them in the description below but take a cover fx my nose gets real red right there so we gotta cover that up now oh i forgot to contour my nose so we're gonna take the same bronzer put that right down our nose Boom. The eyes I do are quick because we don't got time. So basically, I'm just going to take the same bronzer color and put that as my crease shade. That same CoverGirl bronzer, put it in the crease. Boom. Some days I do liner, some days I don't. I guess I could put on a quick little liner. Elf liner is like the best drugstore liner, period. Especially if you like like a liquidy. And I like a liquid better than a felt tip because, I don't know, the felt tip be just be drying out too much too fast. So do some liner. And y'all, this is like a dollar. Like, come on. You can't go wrong with a dollar. So, boom. Okay, y'all, we almost done. I'm gonna do lashes so this quick 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 mini tutorial technique on how to do lashes right so I have my lashes Ardell you can go to CVS get a big pack of them um, like five pack of them for eight dollars eight ninety nine quick right so this is what we do do all glue also at CVS a couple bucks so we put a thin layer of glue right Right, so a thin layer, so a thin layer of glue, but put that on both lashes right now. Right, so I put a thin layer of glue on both lashes, set them down, don't let the glue touch anything. And while they're drying and getting tacky, we're gonna put on mascara. I usually use uh, CoverGirl mascara, I think. It's rather the blue tube or the yellow tube i don't know what they're called but it's, it's the drugstore mascara that again you could get at cvs but this time i have just some ruby kisses mascara just something it doesn't really matter they're all the same thing i guess So by the time I finish my mascara, the glue on the eyelashes are tacky. So instead of waiting and blowing them and it still being wet when you put them on, I don't have any of those problems. So let's see. Get your tweezers. Put a culture. And then just pop them, just pop them right on. See? And that was quick and easy, not too much hassle. I didn't have to do the most, like just pop it on. Boom, baby.
baby. Boom. To really get them looking good and that separation gone is to squeeze your natural lashes and the fake lashes in a little bit of the, to like squeeze them together. So after I put them both on, I'm gonna start with this one and just squeeze them together. Okay, okay. I got some sudden spray. 24 hour long lasting, never touch up. Ruby Kisses, I think. And now it's highlighter time. I love a good gold base highlighter. And this is NK Makeup, NK Perfection Highlighter. And it's definitely gold base, but it doesn't have as much of the glitter, like the glittery effect. So it's like the gold base sheen without the glitter. So I guess it's okay for every day, but you know I me. Mean. I love the glitter. It's real, real subtle. At least for me when, oh shoot. At least for me when I'm used to wearing like Fenty and all the glitter and sparkle and just layer it on me. Honestly, the best part of this everyday drugstore makeup, lips, honey. Okay. Milani is everything. Don't sleep on Milani. Don't you sleep on Milani now. I have the, oh, shoot. I have the, oh snap. I have the, liquid lipsticks. This one is number 12, Loved. It goes on so smooth. It feels like a non-sticky chapstick. So like, actually it kind of feels like a Vaseline almost. Give it a couple of minutes to dry and you good and it's really dry and it doesn't smudge off. That Milan be popping. I have so many other colors. Um, I think I wore another Milani in my last video that I posted yesterday. So Milani is popping. But yeah, this is an everyday makeup look. Like <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the final look. An everyday natural look. Something you could do. Something you could throw together very quickly. Not too much effort, and it still look cute. Like, oh, um. and guess what? I got all of these products from the drugstore. Now, who can look fly from products from the drugstore? I'll wait. <laughs> no, just kidding. Anybody can look fly, girl. Okay, so won't you go get you some pro like? It's okay if you don't have money to buy high-end products because you can still look cute on a budget. And that is the whole point of this video. And I mean, this is a look you could do every day, <laughs> literally every day makeup look. But like, you could go to work like this and still be presentable, but not too much. I mean, I love to be too much, honey, but not everybody like me, okay? So, give this look a try. Um, all the products will be listed down in the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. 
you know, if you like makeup or if you like my makeup, give this video a big thumbs up, okay? I love you guys. Let's keep the grind going. And I'll see you in my next video. And until next time, stay awesome.